Hey guys, Christopher Smith here with Milan. We're going to talk to you today about our heavy duty lathes, the functions, leveling it, and uh, all that good stuff. So right now what you see behind me is our RKL25120 gear head lathe. So let's go over some of the functions and what you're going to do when you first get the lathe. So when it shows up in your shop, you're going to set it on the floor, and you're going to want to put these leveling pads down on all the feet. And you can see where you've got your leveling screws. You want to screw the locking up all the way up to the top. That way you can get full motion out of it. Now your leveling screw if, if need be. You'll want to get you some pretty big adjustable wrenches to uh, work these because the machine is heavy. So to get started, you're going to want to place your precision levels across the bedways with some risers, some precision risers. And you're going to want to work your front to back first. Once you get your front to back where it needs to be, then you can work on your up and down. Uh, another thing that I have recently learned too, when you get pretty close to getting it dialed in, you want to turn the lathe on to around 600 RPM. Now this lathe will do 530. So you want to turn it on, just turn the lathe on and let it run and finish your dial in end. That'll help you find any kind of vibration in the leveling feet. And just help you get there that much better. So let's start with the headstock. Once you're low, you got your high and low lever up here. There for low, the high. Now, sometimes if you struggle to get this in gear, you've got a jog butt. You can just give it a bow. And it'll lock you right in. So that's your high and low. Then you've got your speed for your, your spindle speed change. You're just going to change it by turning around. And again, the same thing with, with this. If it's in a bind in a spot where you can't get it in, just bump the jog button. Then for your feeds, the speed, you got your high and low control here and your forward and reverse. Depending on what, you know, you're cutting. Now all this needs to be done and changed with the machine turned off. Now, everything below that on here on the gearbox, you want to turn the machine on and let it run and put all this into the configuration that you've picked over here on your chart. So yes, over here you have your chart on your feed speeds and ranges and your threading. So once you got that going, You've got a safety switch up here on the chuck guard as well that will not allow the machine to, to run if it's not down. So we'll turn the machine on. And you go through all the SP ranges with the machine off. See the rod stirring? No other speed selected out of you told up here. Your jaw butt on and off for emergency stop. Coolant on and off. And just an indicator light letting you know power is on. So here's your apron. You got your on and off lever. Up or forward. Down, reverse. Your half nut lever. Your feed lever for X and Z. So let's go and have a full of something with that. So you got this knob under here. So now you can see the Z's working. Disengage that. Push that all the way in. And now your X is MIDI. Now, with that engaged, your half nut will not engage. You have to bring this knob to a neutral position in order to get your half nut there. Now another thing you'll be looking for here you got this thumb screw here. This is for your clutch adjustment for your feeds. So you would take this out and a number five Allen wrench, you would adjust this set screw, turning it in. And you just want to go a half turn to a turn at a time, you know, just to get it set up to, that'll save the life of your pool for you. Down here below, you've got your oil control for the pump. That's going to pump every time you're a Z. Candle makes a revolution. It's going to pump for you, so you can turn that on. 
or off, depending on you know how much oil flow you want. But a great thing to look at over here is your oil control. You'll see B, C, and B, C. We recommend you keep it on B, C, so that does the bed and the cross slide for you all at the same, same stroke. Then daily, another thing to keep an eye on is your oil level. You want to check that daily and make sure you have plenty of oil in your apron. Now, you can see this knob down underneath here as well. That's for these to set, set spots so when you're feeding, You'll see that come down, and what will happen if you've got the stopper set up right, this will go across that, if I'm strong enough, and take out your feed for you. Well, that's everything on the apron for you. Now, another thing to keep in mind is check on your oil sites daily. You want to make sure that you have plenty of oil in there so everything stays lubricated and it helps with the wear. Same goes for your head stop. You want to check your oil level down here is always at half and then while it's running you want to see it flowing up here at the top. If you don't see flow then your oil level is too low. Same with your gearbox. Now I'll show you in a second where you take the end cover off. You've also got the brake as well. That will stop the machine. You can just electric tap it and the machine will go off. Because it is equipped with the safety switch as well. Or even press and hit it and stop the spindle. Back up here, you've got your work light and your coolant. And you can adjust the flow through the bowel up here. Uh, like I was saying, so per the, the end cover, something to look at. I'm already taking a couple of the bolts loose. Now, what we want to look at here, so on the front, you'll see this bolt on the very front. And that's your drain plug for your gearbox for flushing out the oil, for changing the oil. And to add oil is back up here. You got to take the end cover off of that. Now you see here the, your timing belt or your gearbox belt. This is equipped with a safety as well. If it gets too overloaded, you're taking too heavy a cut or you crash it while feeding. There's a shear pin on this pulley here. This pulley is actually... It's actually these two pieces right here. There's a shear pin that looks just like this. That's going in between there. And it's a soft key that is designed to break to save your gearbox from blowing out. So if you're ever running and it, it quits speeding, first thing you want to do is take that cover off and see if this is spinning or not. And if it's not, then it's your key. And you get two of these with the lathe from the get-go. They run about seven bucks, so it's always a good idea to get grab a couple extra just to have on hand. Okay, you got your main drive belts and that safety switch I was talking about for the breakdown here as well. Up here, you see this little petcock in a way. It's for draining the oil out of the headstock to flush the oil out. And then up on the top of the headstock, you have a, a large set screw that will open up for filling the oil back up. Another nice feature with this lathe is this rod you see here on the front. With that, you've got these different positions that you can set. And they're labeled one, two, three, four, and five. What those are for, you can set along the bed for your cutting. And when you engage your feed, see this little bearing that popped down? When I engage that, that's actually gonna run along and wind up hitting that stop and kicking your feed out for you. So you can set positions on it when you want it to stop. 
it's not a bad idea just to set it, you know, before you get too close to the chuck, just to have as a uh, backup insurance. So something to think about. Got the tail saw, got the machine. It's up like this for shipping purposes. You put that down there. Move it forward and back. It's quick with a two speed. So you got your slow or you got your, your high. It's a five Morse taper quill on the heavy duty. Then also with this machine standard is a, your standard steady rest and follow rest, spindle bore sleeve with a couple dead centers to work off of, and the faceplate. Guys, that's it for the heavy duty. If you have any questions on that, please let us know at leblondusa.com and uh, we'll get you all taken care of. Thanks for taking your time and watching these videos and we'll see you next time.